Hi, this is Richard Quack here coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is your self image creates your reality. Now, this is a very, very important topic if you want to achieve success in your life. Okay, so let's begin. Life gives you what you believe of it. Do you believe in that? Life gives you what you believe of it. Life gives you what you believe you deserve. Okay, what do you believe in what you deserve? On the subconscious level. Not on the conscious level, but on the subconscious level. So what do you believe? What do you believe? And what is your self-image? In short, your self-image is how you see yourself. How do you see yourself? That is what is important. You cannot outperform your self-image. That is the truth. You cannot outperform your self-image. You need to change at the subconscious level if you want to change your self-image and perform differently. Now, your self-image is like a thermostat. Uh, like a thermostat, all right? Like a thermostat. Now, if you set the thermostat at a certain uh, temperature, okay? Let's say at 25 degrees centigrade. And, you know, when somebody opens the door, the cold wind comes in, okay? It will drop. It will drop. But you know what? After a while, it will go back to 25 degrees centigrade because there is a thermostat there, Okay? Just like another example I give you, when children are going to sit for exam, okay? Normally they perform, you know, on average, that's about it. But then, because of the exam, the parents pressure them. They give them a lot of uh, incentive and a lot of fear as well. So you know what happened? During the exam, they will perform much better. But the overall thing is that, after the exam, later on, the performance will still be the same because that is set at that level. That is the self-image. Okay? Now, if you talk about another example, let's say on a plane, right? The pilot set the plane on autopilot. Okay? So basically, the pilot can go and take a walk and meet the passenger because the plane is already on autopilot. Okay, on autopilot to reach a certain destination, uh, a certain destination. So what happened is that when there is a strong uh, a wind and so on, the, the plane will shift direction, all right? It will shift direction, but you know what? Later on, it will automatically shift its direction back to where it's supposed to go. Okay, so that is what it's all about. It's about your self-image. If you are a person who earn only say, you know, $1,000 a month. That is your self-image. You cannot earn above $1,000 a month. Although, you know, if you get, uh, you know, some uh, motivational talk and so on, it may go up. But overall, later on, you'll move down to $1,000 again. That, because that is your self-image. How you see yourself, that is very, very important. Okay? Now, the truth is that you teach the world how to treat you. You teach the world how to treat you based on the energy you give out all right based on your energy or frequency that you give out you are telling the people the world how to treat you you train people how to treat you actually the truth is that you train people how to treat you what is your self-image that's a very important question ask yourself what is your self-image do you think you deserve on the deep subconscious level do you think that you deserve success Deep in the subconscious level. All right, most people do not. So, for me, I think I deserve the best on the deep subconscious level. Not only me, those successful people outside there, they think differently. They think that they deserve more than what they have. Best of what life has to offer help her happiness, prosperity, family and relationship as well i always think the best and not only me but successful people they look highly about themselves their self-image their self-image is very high 
The truth is you deserve the best. The truth is this, you really deserve the best. But life gives you what you think you deserve. So ask yourself, what do you think you deserve? Because that is your self-image. Now, what I want you to do right now, say this with power. Right? I want you to follow me and say this with power. I deserve the best and I am experiencing the best with emotion as well and with belief. What you experience, God, the Creator, is experiencing it through you. That is what it's all about. All right. So basically, you've got to increase your self-image if you want to do better in life. This is a wonderful world and I'm grateful. Okay, I'm grateful for what I have and what I'm going to have as well. So remember, you cannot outperform your self-image. Your self-image is like a, a bar, you know, whereby you cannot outperform your self-image. So if you want to be more successful in life, you got to consciously improve your self-image, how you look at yourself, how you want people to treat you. And that is so important. All right. And of course, you know, at the subconscious level, not at the conscious, not at the conscious level, but at the subconscious level, you got to be able to do that. Okay, so remember, your self-image create your reality. Okay, so that's the topic for today. And let me summarize for you. Life gives you what you believe of it. It gives you what you think you deserve or what you believe that you deserve. Okay, your self-image is how you see yourself. You cannot outperform your self-image. That's the fact. In fact, you teach the world how to treat you based on the energy that you give out okay so what is your self-image like that's the most important thing how do you think about yourself do you think that you deserve the best in life if you think you deserve the best in life then you got to consciously tell yourself that until it goes into your subconscious mind okay so that's all my sharing for uh today i hope you like what i uh, mentioned here if you like what you hear and see please feel free to like to share and to comment. I appreciate the time that you spent with me here. Uh, that's all my sharing for today. I'll see you again for another session of my live video on Friday. So this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you